So I was doing a FNAF World stream, and my chat, uh, during a little bit of an art intermission and break, decided to make a character for themselves. What you're about to see is my cut together of all of our efforts to make Chat Bear. Chat Bear? Maybe I'll draw Chat Bear as like a thing someday. But like, this is one of my favorite shots. Where like, I really like how the lighting turned out on that one. Anyway, Bubba is saved. You know what the biggest embodiment of chat would be? Hold on. So we need to get the we need to get like the the shape the head shape down. This is Chat Bear's design. <laughs> this doesn't look like FNAF World. Are you sure? Bubba's here. Fred Bear's here. Look at him. He's he's a little confused. Bubba's right here. I don't know what this. What you're, this is what Chat Bear looks like. You you don't get a body. By the way, that is important context for this design. Chat Bear is just this amalgam. You have the canon design of Chat Bear now. <laughs> you know what? Chat Bear gets a fully rendered design. Chat Bear will get the full Neon Dynamo caliber art. This this is this went from a FNAF stream to fully rendering Chat Bear. A very simple render, but it will be done. Actually, I just realized this would be, since it's animatronic, seemingly. Chat Bear will be now canon and lore of the Squ Cyrus Squawk channel, because Cyrus Squawk actually does have some lore that is yet to be really explained, but it's, it will be there. It, it, most of it actually hinges on Sir Squicks, funnily enough. Sir Squicks, the negative counterpart, is actually where a lot of the lore comes in, funnily enough. Here, let me, let me fully flesh out this concept a little. This is kind of what, I, I'm kind of just turning this into what I was thinking of as drawing it while I was drawing the sketch. There. You know what? That can stay like that. I'll, I'll make it look more interesting when with shading. Oh, there you yeah. go. Yeah, so a OG Cyrus Squawks was like not meant to be creepy, but now that I look at like, take like a look at OG Squawks' logo. Uh, I don't have Reddit, or I don't have Discord open, but this is what the old, this is what the first ever Cyrus Squawks thing, this is when I got hacked. And then it became a uh, classic bird. And then... At some point along the road, it changed to the modern squawks. Here's modern squawks. This is the kinds of things Fasco has done to a man. Uh, it's fine. But th there is original squawks who I don't even like. I don't even think I have the original squawks file anymore. I think that that image exists almost exclusively on like YouTube server base. Oh yeah, this stream is going. <laughs> It's going to just keep staying off the rails. Well, it was supposed to be a little art tangent to, as like a little bit of a break from B Bubba's Madness. Five minutes of Bubba's Into Madness. That's what I was going for. It's now become an art stream, I guess, as I draw the fully rendered chat bear. God, they, okay, not all teeth can be winners. I got this one like exactly the way I wanted it first try. Yeah, so... Uh, here's the thing. OG Squawks is not going anywhere. This original logo staying here just as a reminder of where I started. We have officially diverged from the sketch. And you know what? Chat Bear gets whiskers. Chat Bear got lashes. On one of the eyes. Only on one. Let's do some detail work now. Let's tone it down back to like a four. The internet is rotten. Rotten to the core. That's why I'm Internet Jones here to clean up the work. That would be FNAF World, but with only Freddy. And the reason I'm doing this on a separate layer is so I can get rid of the detail work when I do color. All right, chat. It is up to you. Can I, as almighty Sire Squawks, can I do like a poll? Is that something? Isn't that something I can do? Isn't that something? Okay, I'm gonna look up how to make a how to make a poll on YouTube streaming. And in the meantime. You're gonna brainstorm some colors and that'll be in the poll. Okay, I shouldn't have put red. I'm waiting for chat. So chat has to suggest all the colors. That is the, I only, we only get four, so suggest them. Purple, okay. Note that the second most voted color on color will be its secondary color. Orange. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. Let's see in order what was our color suggestions. Green, worst colors, yellow, got that. Purple, okay, white. Sadly, white will be that orange in order eight. In order and i'll be watching it live hi uh how would i do chat plays fnaf world I, I mean i feel like it would just have to be a simple i i don't know the coding stuff i'm pretty bad at that but that would be interesting to figure out what is the color 
of Chat Bear, the Almighty. Context, I think Chat Bear is canonically this big. Like, this is normal Foxy. This is Fred Bear. Chat Bear scale. Let's see. Poll. Nine votes. All right. So we have purple and green. Okay. I'm going to wait for the tie to break because we have a tie between green and white. Anyone last second votes and get them now. Okay. Green has won. So it's purple, purple, and green. Green. Not actually a bad color combo. Which purple do we want to choose? We have classic purple, pink guy, terrified for his life purple, Easter egg purple, Michael, and the correct one, aubergine. You know what? I'm just going to... This this needs to be a poll to itself, actually. <laughs> I don't know how you spell aubergine, so I'm going to do that. So our options are classic, which is this one. Terrified, which are these two, or uh, terrified, which would be this one actually. Uh, Mike and Aubergine. Aubergine is leading pretty far with most of the nine votes. Just, okay, I'm gonna take Aubergine and slightly darken it. Let me erase this. So we'll have a slightly darker Aubergine, but this Aubergine will be our base. For our base, it's going to be this. And then our highlight colors are going to be green. So now let me actually go back to my normal brush size so I can color in. So this is Aubergine just... Let's go back to Aubergine actually a little bit more. Because I, I didn't realize how similar they looked once darkened. Okay, I'm going to be honest, it's not that different. <laughs> You're going to have to go from memory while I, while I color this, this chat bear. Eye colors will be different for each one, so I, I'm just going to do every color for that one. Fazbear Hills Green. So this is going to be our... I guess there's a lot more greens than I thought, but I'll just pick like a good representative one. Which will be like this. Okay, that's pretty... That's pretty perfect. I mean, it is... <laughs> I have thought about whether Sire Squawks the bird is an animatronic or not. Or is he just a proper ostrich? Or is he Hootie from Owl House? Like, where he's just like this endless bird worm thing. It is an endless debate of, like, what Squawks is. So I am going to take a bit of a creative liberty with the task given to me. And make this more like a gray, or like a brighter metallic. You know what, I might do that for this, too. And now, it is shading time. Now that we've got the color, and a reminder that all of this is horrifically withered and messed up. This is becoming a FNAF world enemy, but we can make it better. So behold, this is going to look stupid for a second. Actually, hold on, let me stupid for a second. And then I'm going to do what I showed off before. Actually, that's good. And then, and then we're going to start actually shading now on, you know, it was kind of a compromise anyway, because I just realized the shading inherently it makes it darker, so. And we can just do it like a, a broad stroke like that, like that to give it a bit more directionality to its shading. Okay, so now we have our lighting down. It is worth noting, I am in fact a comic artist. Like, that was, that is like my main thing. And now, let's do, I told you I was gonna properly render this. Oh, they, they will, they will glow. And now let's a reminder to see what this looks like in the dark. Uh, and just give it a bit of like an afterglow thing going on. Rice pudding? I don't think I've had it off the top of my head. So we have Chat Bear now. Uh, let's make sure everything's like lined up properly. Ooh. I didn't think that through far enough. Let's... Can I clean that up? Can I... Our perfect little gradient is going to have to be like adjusted slightly, and then that's that's good. That got it. And then I can rein the glow in a little bit too, to be a little bit more around. Art is 99% lighting and shading and stuff. Like, Chat Bear is definitely like a Golden Freddy Anglerfish thing, where like a kid chases a light and then it turns the corner, and it's just like this thing. Like, here, let me get it on a separate layer so I don't mess with this. Like, this ball thing, definitely, canonically, like, definitely, like, is like this, and it, like, flies around and, like, lures you back to this thing. And that's how Chat Bear works. God, it sounds like a different word now. It has been said so much. Now, everyone 
can save Chat Bear to their to their phones or f devices or whatever. Remember, Chat Bear is canonically the size of Bubba. We have established that Chat Bear lures prey in with its thing, and then it eats them <laughs> with its giant, like colossal jaws. Ch yeah, you guys made this happen. Here, I can now just take Chat Bear, and we can get a size comparison for Bubba and Chat Bear. Maybe that's a little tiny bit too big. Just enough so it's fully on screen is the main thing. This is the canonical size of Chat Bear. Funtime Foxy. I mean, you guys asked for it. You know, Chat Bear is here, but he's in the background. He's... Oh, I guess Chat Bear like, would be a yes. There we go. That's the perpetual Bubba image. God, you just have this fully rendered head over here that makes everything else look ridiculous by comparison. Hey, you are Chad Burr?